Hello, everybody. Welcome back, Sport Federation TV. Remember, as I told you earlier on, uh, you can win yourself a case of Bashu's um, cool drinks. Been around since 1899, one of my favorite cool drinks. Been around for a long time. Remember, the old truckies used to come past and drop you for Bashu's at the house, and you give them the bottles back, and you take your bot, your, your little kissy with you. Bashu's certainly a community uh, drink here in, in the Western Cape, and we've been seeing them for so many years and so many grand flavors. Everyone tells me ginger beer is the best flavor. Uh, personally, I quite like the cream soda. Well, you want to win yourself a case of bashus? I'm going to give you an opportunity just before the break in a second or so. But right now, we're speaking about baseball. Western Province baseball, very active in South Africa, and especially in the Cape Town area. And joining me now is Lyle Maritz, who's of course the head coach of uh, um, the uh, Chaka Road um, Baseball Club. Is that the right word? Well, that's um, not the right word. I'm, yeah, that's, that's I, I, provincial side. Now, I'm you're the head, the head coach, coach of the, of, of, of the Western, Western Province, Province that's baseball correct. side. And Luke November, you, you're a competitor, com athlete. Yeah. Do I call you a competitor or athlete? Uh, We're going to play you. Yeah. A player. player. All right. Yeah. You're an athlete. yeah, but we call you guys athletes. Because you are athletes as players. All right. Um, Lyle, just tell us a little bit more about, um, about, before we talk about the provincial structure, tell me a little bit more about the club itself in Chakra Road. Okay. The, um, in Chakra Road, there are three clubs. Um, Pat's Hood, which, which I'm head coach of. Yeah. It is um, VOB, which he's a player of, and the Lansdowne Eagles. Um, yeah, All three um, clubs playing on the same complex at Chakra. Yes, each one has its own venue, though. Um, each one has its own field, um, own club has everything. So right, right. It's quite a big complex, and so it's, it's quite easy to fit on three um, baseball fields. I keep thinking that I only see one diamond at, 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 at Chakra, but you told me that it's three. Maybe yeah, I've three. seen the same one three times. Or no, no, no. We we were all in separate, <laughs> <laughs> sep uh, situated separately. And yeah. how long have you how long have you been at um, at uh, at the Chakra Road Complex? Well, we've been there. I think about um, probably about eighteen years now. Yeah. I think B B might be a bit uh, older club. I'm um, situated there. All right. So you're not coaching. No. You, you're, you're not coaching Luke. No, no. Right. Um, just at provincial level. All right. So and you're coaching at Batswood. Yeah. Um, and and, and uh, Luke, you're you're playing at VOB. Yeah, that's correct. All right. And when did you get started with baseball? I started baseball at the age of three. I started off at Crusaders in Grassy Park, and then at the age of twelve, I moved to VOB. Yeah. And wh what was it that made you? Why did you get started? What, what was the? What was the appeal? Um, my father, he played baseball, yeah. so I grew up on the baseball field. So naturally, I just. Started playing the game. And how many times? How often do you play? How often do you practice? We practice twice to thrice a week and play on a Saturday. Um, Lyle, do you think that we've got the same kind of? I mean, when you look at baseball, it's like one of the, one of the world's most exciting sports. It certainly is one of, the, I think, because of t American TV viewership and so on. It, it's it's one of the world's most popular sports. American football, um, the Major League Baseball. These are the these are the big sports around the world. Um, maybe not an African continent or Australia or, or so on, but have we got the same kind of gears here in South Africa when the guys are competing? Yes, no, for sure. Um, well, Western Cape is the biggest um, baseball federation within our South African borders. Yeah. Um, and we're definitely competitive. I mean, the guys are, are in every week trying to win each other. So yes, it's, it's competitive. Um, I mean, we've, we, last year we went to Canada with the World Cup South African team um luke was one of the players um so yeah it's 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 beyond competitive yeah and from a, from a baseball perspective i mean uh, how many clubs have we got in the western cape or the cape town area oh we we've got quite a few i, I can't say how many yeah, quite a couple but but each each club has a, a junior setup with a senior setup yeah so. a, little bit, a little bit about the the western province side you guys have recently had some successes uh, how did you bring the, how did you get involved with that and how did you bring the team together selecting the team yeah, so the process starts in around about um, November, really, where we start selecting players. Um, we earmark players for selection um, for training camps. Um, that happens over about a three-month period. Um, this year was a bit difficult due to the water shortage and yeah. the games stopped halfway, th um, our season stopped halfway. Yeah. Um, so it was quite, quite a challenge for us to get the team together and training and um, competing. Yeah. And then, w w with this, you, you mentioned to me earlier on the NBC, the National National Baseball Championship. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you had to travel, uh, play against a couple of other competitive outfits. Yes. Um, the competi um, the competition um, took place in Durban. Yeah. Um, and then all the all the regions um, kind of ended up competing in that, which I think we beat Houting in the final. Um, so yeah, we we've been fortunate in that sense that we've been. Um, 
the national champions now three out of four years. So that's yeah. that's been a good run. Um, and Luke, do you recommend baseball for for kids if they want to get active? Yes, definitely. It's an amazing sport. Uh, you learn a lot of traits, quality traits that you can use in your everyday life. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely recommend it for younger children. Coach Lau, um, for people who want to get hold of, of want to start off playing baseball, how do they how do they find out more? Where do they find a club? I know there's three clubs at Chucker Road, but you know, it's Batswood, VOB, what was one number? Lansdowne. 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 So there's three clubs there. How would one get, how do you get hold of someone if, or where do you find track baseball down if, you wanna, if I want to start playing? Well, we, we've got a BORP website um, where we people can Warp. kind of BORP, um, oh, Baseball Warp. Association of Western Province, our, our main centre. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, through them you can contact and then in the areas, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's very visible baseball. So the best baseball. place maybe to go to is to the, to the, to the website? Yeah, through, through BORP, um, yeah. Th you know, and then they can source you out to the to where you live yeah. and the teams within your area because like I said we one venue with three teams but surrounding us is another three four other teams so but if I go to Chucker Road I've got three clubs there you choose Batswood <laughs> 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 all right folks yeah. we're gonna leave it at that if you're gonna go to Chucker Road you've got three different clubs to choose from you've got Batswood you've got VOB and you've got Lansdowne um, baseball club um, all happening there at Chakura but there's of course a number of baseball clubs in Cape Town and if you want to start playing baseball um, in uh, in the Cape Town area or even the Western Cape um, in fact you can speak to Desmond Spielman he's the the chairperson of the of the Central Karoo at least not Central Karoo he's the chairperson of the Eden um, Sports Council and uh, very involved with baseball South Africa and uh, baseball in the Western Cape. So Desmond Spielman, you would have seen him on TV before. He'll be happy to know that baseball is getting some serious promotion. But Baseball Association Western Province, B-A-W-P. Go and uh, Google that and the website will pop up and you'll be able to find yourself a baseball club nearby you. Right, as I mentioned earlier on, if you want to win yourself a case of Bashus, um, right, this is my, one of my favorites, as I mentioned earlier on, the cream soda. But if you want to win yourself a case of uh, Bashu's cool drink. Double three oh nine oh is the number that you need to um, that you need to text. There's, as I mentioned earlier on, there's a lot of different flavors from ginger beer to orange pineapple, cocoa pine cream soda, raspberry, and iron brew. So um, the old Bashu's drink has been around for just about forever. I think it's the oldest cool drink in the country. Double three oh nine oh. Just send the word Bashu's to double three oh nine oh, and you could put yourself in the mix to win a case of Bashu's cool drink. Congratulations to last week's winner, the Rosin September. Rosin walks away with a case of Bashu's. Right, Rosin, somebody from uh, Sport Federation TV will get in touch with you and you'll walk away with a case of a Bashu's cool drink. Folks, when we come back from the break, we'll be speaking to the world of ring ball. Back in a sec. <laughs> 